What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Malky May, man. Showing you guys footwork, how to use your distance, how to use that jab, set up angles. We're gonna do all that in this video. Now I'm saying hit that subscribe button. But y'all see my record. Now I'm saying always flashy. You know how I do it, man. Easy work, easy victories. Now in this video, like I said once again, we're gonna show how to create offense off of footwork. Cause I watch a lot of these guys on here and read a lot of comments and they still unsure how to do this at an effective high level. Now this guy here did so much talking going into the fight. So I decided to get Iris Laundry Lar versus Marvin Hagler. Now we're gonna get into this video. Now early on, Early on, I'm gonna use that jab and I'm gonna use my footwork early because I know Lard isn't strong enough to stay toe to toe with Hagler. So, when I'm doing early, I'm moving to the left. I'm trying to circle away from his power hand. And I think my footwork is the fight go on. You're gonna really see how I open him up. Now, right now, he's doing the jab out there. So, I already know he's trying to set me up for something. So, it's my, it's up to me. To use my jab and get all the way out his range. I love going to the body early, especially against the stronger, slower fighter. Because if he already slow, the more I slow him up by going downstairs, he gonna be tired, and as the fight go on, he becomes slower. Now he landed a good straight right a minute a minute ago, but it's up to me to get his rhythm down and stop him from doing anything on offense. And in this video, you gonna see me dissecting him on the offensive end to the point he don't even want to swing anymore because my offense would be so superior along with my footwork. See how I'm never really in there too long? I might be in front of him for two to three seconds. That's where you gonna even see me there that long. But that's only if he flat out attacking me and I need to get some room. But right now you see it's a chess match, which clearly favored me. And that's how I want it because for him to even not keep rushing in, he automatically respect my footwork and my timing. Timing is another thing you guys need in order to succeed at this level. Now you see that straight left I hit him with a minute ago. I'm gonna keep hitting him with that. I'm hitting him with that all night. Because I see all he's trying to do is throw that jab in the straight to the body. He's trying to get me tired. And that's why he just got popped with a straight left downstairs. There's levels to this, man. I ain't gonna be aggressive. I ain't gonna do none of that. This is boxing. This is technical skills. Not none of that running in there, making it exciting. We ain't doing that Arturo Gaddy providing the car stuff. I ain't doing none of it. It's about that win, ain't it? Youngers be complaining how you get the win. We ain't doing none of that. You know what I'm saying? What's good, Dad? I fought you too, talking to my father, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we gonna keep doing that jab out there. I should have do it more honestly, y'all, in this fight, but Ben done them southpaw, and he decided to fight. Well, Hagler fight southpaw and orthodox. So, you know, I just try to move to the left. I rotate to the left because he's coming straight in. And Ben done them southpaw, and I move to the left angle. That left will always be there. And he's so confused to where he's just sitting there walking me down without punching at this rate because you can tell he automatically knows this technical pace ain't working now he wasn't willing to jump in earlier because i had so much form so he wanted to fill me out but once he seen after a while i can't keep fighting like this as you can see it's only the second round and he already made that adjustment which is a good thing that he made that adjustment but at the same time it put him in more harm's way to get hit with everything because now i'm really finding his rhythm earlier than normal because I already see now he knew deep in his heart he can't outbox me so it looked like when he said to himself I'm gonna just run this guy over I'm gonna do a whole lot of punches and hope I land one the beauty with being the southpaw is now you can throw shots over the top so if you guys wanna see this fight go on he gonna keep trying walking down and instead of the left which I'm gonna continue to throw I'm gonna stop the time with the Pacquiao right over the top and you're gonna see how you react off of that. Cause when it's this technical, 
his favorite knee. But the reason I say pay attention to the footwork is because look how I'm not standing on the ropes. This can be where you see me on the ropes in this video. And when I do get on the ropes, you guys be panicking too much. All you have to do is just block the shot. Try to block him. You might get hit every now and then. Just slide off the ropes. Once you slide off, easy work. Now we're gonna go to the next round. I'm gonna show you guys how I got set to break him down. Now this guy did so much thought in before the fight. Now I ain't gonna put his name out there and do none of that to embarrass him. Then after I beat him, he said I need some tips to clean show me how to play. That's why I don't do good to talk. So I had to upload it. But he's a cool cat though. Real cool cat. He ain't gonna start that round. <coughs> he try to think of a game plan right now, y'all. If you fighting me, you better try to think of a game plan. Now in this round, look, he taunting. He frustrated. <laughs> look, now he just gunning for me. I'm gonna keep doing that right over the top. See, once I find your rhythm, it's a wrap. Now I want y'all guys to play, pay close attention to this because this is what happens once you dissect somebody. You can't say, man, he's coming through with I don't know what to do. And then it calls somebody a spammer. It don't work like that. If I ain't have good defensive footwork, he'll probably be trying to body spam me. But the bottom line, you got to do what you got to do to get that win, no matter how you get it. Why would Floyd stop doing the straight right to help his opponent have a better chance of winning? Sounds stupid. Now you see that being aggressive. Now you're getting hit at will with the strength. It's about coming up with the game plan better than your opponent. For the whole fight or as long as it lasts. Look at that. Can't touch me. Look at my footwork. As soon as I do my punch, I'm out the way. He, don't co he ain't comfortable trying to tie me to the head. Do you know why? Because he know he getting tired. And he feels so out of position anyway he swings. But he'd prefer going to the body because he felt if he hit me with enough of them, it might at least slow me up, which will never happen because I know what I'm doing in this ring. But uh, hit the subscribe button like I said if y'all didn't already. Follow me on Twitter at Naughty Mayweather 99. Playing around there. I ain't going to show you guys the whole fight unless you guys really want to see it. So after this video or tweet in the inbox, uh, that you want to see the full video, which I actually have. This one I just wanted to show you guys, just a little lesson, how simple it is to create offense off of footwork. All I'm doing for real is taking a little step over to my left, maybe every now and then to the right, do the right over the top. And the full video, if y'all want to see it when I upload it, like I just had a little minute ago with that right hand, I kind of did that a lot the second half of the fight. He got hit with that right hand a whole lot. See, now he's going orthodox. He don't know what he want to do. Orthodox and softball, you don't have a shot in neither because all you're doing is pressing me. And I figured your timing out. At least the first four rounds versus me, you got to be very versatile. You can't be one-dimensional. Look at that, right over the top. See that? Now I'm rotating to the right. He can't fight me, honestly, from the right or the left side. He only fighting a straight line, He's like Gary Russell. If you're not squared up in front of him, he can't do anything. Look at this. You can't win in a technical war. You have to do something else. Jab right down the middle. See? Fighting a straight line. So in reality, it don't matter what angle I'm hitting from, punching from. He can get hit on either side. Fighting a straight line, I can beat you from the left. I can step over to the right. When you bring your left uppercut, I can step over to the right, time you with the right. Step over to the left, time you with the left. Because you're running in a straight line, you're coming straight at me, so I can time you with a straight coming in or a pull counter. Meaning when you come in, lean back, bang right down the middle, or left down the middle in this specific case. Since I'm southpaw. See this though, this is a, just a real technical beating. Meaning, I just stopped him from literally everything he was doing the beginning of the fight. We see him change his style on several occasions. Right now, we see him not even really punching. Because he knows he's getting countered every time. And even if I'm not 
counter, I'm always out the way. So it's kind of like he's doing his punches in lane and he's gassing out at the same time. See that? Straight over the top. It, it's simple. You can't fight in straight lines. That'd be the problem with 95% of these dudes on here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta watch my videos if you want to become a leader. I'm at the top for a reason. You feel me? And my skill, oh, most definitely. Do I got the skill, the timing? I got all that. But I also got game plan as well. And you guys saying that at the moment. Now, I don't, I got them not even wanting to swing. Because he don't know what he's going to get hit with. He know what he's doing, definitely not enough. And I done took so much juice out of him. Other than the one punch KO, he knows power wise, tell me he got the vanish no more. I'm too quick for him, my time is too sharp. I'm just too skilled. And he's too one dimensional. If it's anything that I can help this guy with in his case, I would tell him for one, to keep his work rate up and don't punch from this far of a distance. But then again, that's hard to do when you got a guy who's not allowing you to get in the inside. See how my footwork is creating stuff? Every time I feel that he about to be aggressive, I just back all the way up out of range. And then he's frustrated, so he'll be stationary. Then they'll allow me to come in, throw that straight left, bow, out the way. Look at that. As soon as I said it, <laughs> jab. Jab to the body, look at that. See that? I felt he was Gary to a punch, and I back straight up. Watch me do this a couple of times so you guys can see for yourself. See that? Look at that. Look at that. Straight up. When he swing, I'm going to back straight up. Or get right out the way. See, he's so uncomfortable with swinging because he know that himself he don't even want to take chances look at that as soon as he start punching he was the first thing i do i back all the way up i move to the side like i said you guys know we gotta move all the way back you can move to the side give an angle as long as you out the way take a small step around or a small step back that's called the angle and that's why i'm fighting this guy from angles i'm not fighting a straight line See that? I just do the straight left. Now I might not do the same punch back to back. I might do it next. See that? I do a jab. Now I do a left uppercut. He didn't expect that. Look, straight left to the body. Straight left to the body followed by a right hook. Jab to the body. Straight left. Now he's very confused. Now he do a good hook a minute ago. But the thing is, he don't want to keep taking that chance because look how much he got hit out of nowhere. If he's just sitting there getting hit, a whole lot, you know him coming forward, he don't get a whole lot as we seen throughout this whole fight. Get that right uppercut, left to the body. See, now he actually throwing a lot more, he not really getting in any shots. He probably got in a good two to three, this around decent shots, or probably total shots. But now, look at that, he's still getting caught. But he don't have no juice on his punches, so even if he was to turn up, and really start pressing the action. He ain't got no juice in him. No homo, y'all. <laughs> Look at that left to the body. He tied. Yeah. Left uppercut. Look at that. As soon as he swing. Pay attention to the footwork. Listen to everything I'm saying. But look at my footwork when I set everything up on offense. I'm never there for him. Now you guys can't tell me one time really you seeing my back against the ropes in this video. I ain't paid attention that much, but I know for a fact my back was never against the ropes. And if it was, it was no more than three seconds. Straight left. Move out the way. It's your boy Noggy Bay, man. If you like that video, hit that subscribe button. You're